disappeared. I reached into the happiest day of my life. What is that? And 15. Is that 15 feet long, probably. Yeah, 152 inches. 100. And, I don't know how to do inches. I'm I'm Canadian. I do centimeters. So anyway, we're gonna bust this open and see what's inside. Oh, no, no, it's nailed. Oh, yeesh. But I'll get it. Yeah, I'll just video. You you do the work. I'm just kidding. I'll be right back. Oh yeah. So look at that. So we have to double up uh, part of these and look, it just one slides right in the other just like it's supposed to. I suppose they probably designed it that way. So yeah, that's cool. Look at all these shiny bits of aluminum. Now this is way too much aluminum for what I need. So... We're planning on future crashes? We're not planning on future crashes. Scott's building one of these and he has a lot of the parts but not all of them so he bought extra parts. So now we got to figure out how to put these onto there. I, I tried this and I, I screwed it up and Scott said give me that you're not doing it right McClatchy and so now he's doing it showing me how. This is basically how you cut look at that. Look! Would you look at that? It's a nice clean edge. You just have to file the inside a little bit and she's perfect. So this is the inside of that. So this is doubled. So we're going to slide this into there and then measure that four feet and I think it is four feet already. Absolutely. So we just slide that in and drill some holes, measure for holes. So this, uh, this isn't going to be too hard. So we got to clean up the edges because they're kind of bird but uh yeah good times so you file the inside because you want to get rid of the burrs the part that we slide on the inside you want to radius the edge because when it's on the inside any sort of flex at all you want it to be round and so it rolls instead of uh instead of creates a pressure point there so just thought i'd point that out Digging through the pile, trying to find some stuff to help uh, with things and whatnot. I don't know. I'm not a. I don't know what's going on here. Does that air compressor have to be so loud? Yes. So we take this piece and we slide into that piece, and then we drill. So we're using this piece of angle <laughs> angle iron. Angle aluminum. Angle aluminum. And we're going to use that to measure the, what, do you, what would you call that? The top, I oh. guess, whatever. So they're all in the same line because we want all the holes in the same line. So we'll do that and then we'll drill and then we'll see where we're at. Well, there's the first hole. We're going to put a bolt through that now and that will hold the doubling tube on the inside. And then we'll just continue to drill. That's why I'm supposed to run in my plane. Yeah, a lot of guys run that in their plane. Does that look good to you? Uh, I need you to look down the bolt. Or one way or the other, yeah. <laughs> that looks square to me. Let's see what happens when you go through. How about that? Nice. So yeah, I'm not gonna, oh, well, I zoomed in. I'm not gonna record the rest of those holes. Just like rewind that and repeat it a whole bunch of times if you wanna see the rest of the holes drilled. Let's see if I can put this somewhere where we can see what we're doing here. All right, we're, we're test fitting the piece. There's the, there's the tubes, they're in. 
It slid right, um, in. Yeah, it slid right in, right, Scott? Yeah, it was easy. A big go off. You can jump on the video, only three minutes. Yeah, three minutes and right in. It was easy. It hasn't been two hours since that last clip, I promise you. Yeah, it's dark going on. There's Jace. Say hi, Jace. Hey. No. Hey. No, hi, Jace. Hi, Jace. Oh, there you go. I got it. You're old. <laughs> okay. I don't disagree with that. But yeah, so the, that's that's what we broke, and now they're back in and they're not broken. So they're going to come back out now that the holes are in the right spot. Well, most the structural holes are in the right spot. We just got to kind of hope that the seat holes are in the right spot, but we can make those fit one way or another. Uh, they'll come out. We'll ream the, or we'll, we'll deburr all of the holes as I knock over the drill, and then we'll paint it and then put it back in. So hopefully the next clip is either probably not somebody painting them. It's probably just going to be back in again, but they'll be black instead of silver, so. All right, sorry for the crappy uh, video quality and probably audio quality. I left my other camera at home. So how are you liking the, uh, the new camera? I, it's not a new camera, it's an old camera that I forgot I had and uh, now I'm using it. So it's, uh, yeah, it's got zoom and better audio, better video. Anyway, I don't have it. It's not this camera, so don't compare this to anything else. Um, back at Scott's and we're getting ready to bend some pipe or tubes I guess so this is the tube that we need to replicate this is the one that had the damage on it that I didn't like so we thought we would replicate it and we've been having <laughs> an issue trying to figure out how to bend this and as you can see it so far hasn't gone well so we are on to plan I don't know what plan number we're on now. Plan C, probably, maybe D. Um, we have a conduit bender, and we did some practice. This is with actual conduit, not with the aluminum tubing. And as you can see, we're pretty darn close. If not exact. So we practiced with the conduit and then we practiced with empty aluminum because remember we have to sleeve this. It's one inch inside of an inch and an eighth. And uh, it's, it's one big black piece all the way around and one silver piece on the outside and they're, they're bent together. So we practiced because the, the, the 12 foot tubes, they have to come on a transport truck. So we practiced with just the aluminum first and it did a pretty good job. It's not exactly as good as I would like it to be. There's a little bit of rippling, but it's not bad considering what we have. And if this one's a little bit better, the one from the factory, but it's acceptable, I think. And this was, remember, this is empty. So now we have the sleeve in the middle of the 12 foot pole and we have the center marked and we know where we're starting and where we're ending and all that stuff. And on top of that, we have plugged the ends and filled it with sand. So that's going to help, uh, help it not want to compress. So basically at this point, I'm just waiting for more muscles because I can't bend it. <laughs> I had a hard time bending the empty aluminum. There's no way I'm bending two plus sand inside. So hopefully Dave's on his way and Dave's going to help us. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to cut to that. So I'll see you in a minute whenever Dave gets here, hopefully. This is, um, factory spec, right? This is how they did it in the factory. Definitely. But we're getting, we are making a little progress, right? All hope is not yet lost, but we're not there yet. Modern tools. Mo <laughs> ah, this got to be an easier way. I just had to huh? talk about me. <laughs> you, oh, you're the modern tool. Modern tool. You're a tool, all right. <laughs> so we're at a standstill. Didn't go well, did it, Dave? Yet. Yet. I like that yet. So we do have a backup plan, and it involves more than just our muscles, fortunately. So. We sort of got somewhere, not quite there yet. I guess we'll find out in the next video how we go. Say bye, Dave. Bye, Dave. <laughs> he knows how to do it. Why don't you know how to do it? Bye, Scott. <laughs> no! <laughs>